it's going to be different this year, obviously post Olympics, and um, we won't have Lizzie with me. I don't have Don this year, so um, I guess I'm the elder statesman of the <laughs> squad now. But uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back out there and racing again and um, having a new squad of teammates around me as well. We've got some super competitive athletes coming through, and um, I know how they feel having having missed out on Sochi. And the following year, I was so motivated to do well, um, start winning medals on World Cup. So. I've been there, I know how they feel, so I know they're going to be really good this season, sort of nipping at my heels and, and creating that sort of strong internal pressure that we do well in the British Council. It's, it's an interesting one because obviously I don't have the, the pressure of the Olympics anymore, but um, there's a different kind of pressure that's come with being successful because, um, you know, I, I sort of hold myself to a higher standard now, I think, and, I, and I'm you know, aware that probably other people will look at me and think, well, Olympic medalist, she should be medaling week in, week out on World Cup. So there's a different kind of pressure there. Um, but I think, you know, uh, the most pressure will be the pressure that I put on myself because um, I'm super competitive. I always want to, to do well and be on the podium. So in that respect, nothing's changed really. Yeah, no, it's, it's exciting. Obviously, I've had, what, this is my third season on World Cup now. So um, back l last year, only half the season was on World Cup, but this year I'm back on for the full one, hopefully, so World Champs in, in March time. So yeah, it's fun. Going back to the start of the Jong Chong cycle, I was really new into the sport then, and my first competitive year was the year of Sochi. Um, so now I've had four years' experience like under my belt, and going into this, this Olympiad, it's going to be an exciting one because. I'm not going to be thinking about that as such. I'm going to just going to be thinking week in, week out because I think that's what the one of the errors I made last last year was having that sole focus on Pyeongchang um, instead of thinking about the processes. And it should be it's crazy really because the processes are what's drilled into us, um, and I lost sight of that. So I'm back in it now with a solid focus of what I need to do week in, week out instead of that end goal. It was really difficult not going to Pyeongchang because, like I said, that was my my sole focus for six years when I came into the program. Um, but a lot of people don't know I actually flew out there off my own back and went and watched everyone because all my family and friends had bought tickets and stuff. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to grab the bull by its horns and go out there and watch. And watching one of my best mates, Jerry, and obviously Dom getting his bronze medal, it was a, a tough experience, definitely tough experience, but. It was an experience that gave me a huge fire in my belly to carry on and pursue a dream that I had when I first came into the programme. So in four years time, that's what I'll be going for. We've got myself, Jerry, Marcus, who are all pretty close together. Um, so we're gonna push each other on week in, week out. So it's gonna be an exciting year for us all, I think. It's really exciting um, going forward into the season on the World Cup. Obviously last year I had a little bit of a taster of what the World Cup was like. Um, so it's nice to be starting um, the season off on World Cup where um, hopefully um, it goes out. Um, seeing how well obviously all of our guys did, Lizzy, Laura, Dom, Jerry, they did fantastically well. Um, I was also lucky enough that I was on the Ambitions programme for Team GB so I was actually there at the Games which was unbelievable um, experiences that I, I can't replicate ever again and it was really really brilliant so going into this season um, with the likes of them you know the program has got a fantastic setup and yeah I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what I can do. Um, the target for the season is to compete on the World Cup for the whole season hopefully. Um, last year I was on the ICC and the World Cup and having my debut so it'd be nice to have the whole season working with a new coach Eric um, and hopefully um, get selected to the World Champs which is in Whistler in March. For a lot of people four years probably seems an awful long time, for us it just seems to whiz by summer, winter, summer, winter. Um, unfortunately I had a few setbacks in the summer, I had to have um, another ankle surgery in June which set me back a little bit but I'm really hoping that I've started off the season well so far, getting myself selected onto the World Cup so going forward it's just striving for 2022 and although it seems far away it won't, it'll be right around the corner as, as soon as we know. As soon as you join the programme it's kind of where you're aiming for to be competing against the world's best um, and to have that opportunity again is yeah it's a great honour uh, really looking forward to it and it should be a good season so I did I did four races on the world cup and it was it's such a different atmosphere you know the, there's cameras there and um, you know you're competing against people that have been you know won olympic medals been doing it for year, years and years um, 
and but to have a taste of that beforehand now going into a full season I really feel that it's kind of set me up like I can really do my best this year um, I say that experience has, has shown me what what it's going to be like it's, it's not that different at the end of the day it's still me and my sled competing um, different people so yeah I feel like it's given me a bit of a head start um, this year to really show what what I'm capable of targets this year I guess would be in my in my own head I look at it as just to put together a season that I'm happy with um, there maybe isn't uh, a number on it but if I could come away with eight races that I'm happy with my performance um, bettering last year's 17th in the world overall I'd, I'd be extremely happy with that um, so I guess that's the goal to try and beat to use last year as a stepping stone and to take another step forward this year we join this we join the sport with the aim of winning a gold um, and you know four years ago it felt like eight years was a long a long way away but suddenly we're halfway through starting this uh, this four-year cycle um, so yeah it's you know that's that, that goals out there um, and it's obviously the main goal but it's taking it bit by bit so this season is a stepping stone to next season and, and so on and so on um, but yeah obviously that's that's the goal. It feels fantastic to have been selected to race in the World Cup for this season. It was one of my goals uh, going into pre-season so to have that on TikTok is really exciting and I can't wait to get started. I'm currently in the process of setting my targets with my coach now I know which squad I'm racing on but I think it's going to be to try and finish within the top 16 to top 20 um, placings on the World Cup. I want to be getting that second run every race and getting maximum exposure to the, uh, to the other women in the competition. So I am looking very much towards 2022 and competing at the Beijing Winter Olympic Games. So to be in the first year of that Olympic quad is really exciting, it feels really fresh and to have got the selection for World Cup in the first year of the quad I feel it's going to set me on a really good pathway so we'll see where I can go from here. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the team atmosphere at the moment. Feeling Lizzie not being around, it's a different sort of team atmosphere and she, she is a loss but I think she achieved so much, she well and truly deserves a good old rest now. And I'm very fortunate we've still got the likes of Laura and Jerry with their Olympic experience um, racing this year. So I'm very much going to try and sort of learn what I can from them to help me going forwards.